All my great-grandfathers were born in the UK and travelled to Tasmania at a young age. John Hayes is my great-grandfather through my father's line. He was born in Crudwell in the Cotswolds in the Wiltshire area, west of London. His father owned two pubs in Crudwell, the Potting Shed and the Wheatsiff. He was a brewer for the Cheltenham Ales Company. John moved to Tasmania as an 18-year-old and became a farmer in the Burnie area. Married Marion Snare and they established a large family on a fairly large farm. As time went on, it appears he became more and more involved in the dairy industry. This is the site of the Butter Factory restaurant in modern day Burnie. However, in 1910, the rear section was the new dairy building for the Northwest Co op. John became a mover and shaker in the area. It was not long before he established this butter factory. The opening ceremony was a grand affair with Parliament and industry representatives, including one John Hayes. Overlaying these photos garners an interesting perspective of those times. John Hayes is recorded as being the chairman of the co-op when the building was opened. In his opening address, John Hayes highlighted the successes of the dairy up to that point. Initial investments had returned very favourable dividends for local farmers. The butter factory itself was near the port and close to the railway. John Hayes remained chairman for about seven years. While a farmer, he was quite involved in public affairs and soon got involved in the Emu Bay Road Trust. There are several newspaper reports. One interesting report by a ratepayer says that John requires a little more backbone, but no doubt will improve now he has had a little experience. After success with the Road Trust, John then moved to grander things. In 1898, John was elected to the town board. The town board building became the Burnie Public Library and is currently the site of the fire brigade. He got the most votes of any of the candidates and became the warden or the mayor of the town. His opening speech was greeted with much fanfare, noting that he would not be impartial and would use the best of his abilities in the interests of those who had honoured him by electing him. And as he had done in the past, so he would do in the future. Soon after the establishment of the butter factory, John returned to England for a short time. He visited family and noted on the comparison of what had been established in Australia compared with how things were faring in the old country. He was surprised by the general disloyalty to the Crown and thought the monarchy would decline. In fact, that he was observing the last coronation. Concluding his general observations with the thought that there is no place like Australia. Over a 21 year period from 1882 to 1903, they had 10 children. My grandmother, Edith, was born in 1886. After touring through many parts of Australia in the 1920s, John and Marion settled back into Burnie, with Marion passing away aged 87 in 1947. John died a year later aged 91. Both are buried at the Wyvernhoe Cemetery in Burnie.